Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this wash and go. Also how I got this purple hair using some hair wax that I purchased off of Amazon. So if you guys want to see how I did that, then definitely keep on watching. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and I made that face because a whole bunch of water fell on my neck. Um, but I'm going to be going with this leave-in conditioner from Cream of Nature. It's kind of like a liquid um, leave-in conditioner. I actually really, really like this. I also like this to refresh my hair. Not this particular wash and go um, just because it had the wax in it, but I do like this to refresh my hair as well. Um, I used this because I didn't want to use something too heavy because I was also going to be using the wax and I wasn't sure how it was going to, um, you know, cooperate. Next, I'm going to go in with the Cream of Nature 5 Essential Oil Blend, and I'm just going to apply that as well, just to seal in that moisture. And then I'm going to go in with the Cream of Nature Curling Cream, um, kind of just to lock all of that in. You guys know I love doing the lock method on my hair, um, and I actually don't like the smell of this. It smells exactly like the cream and gel that I used in my last video, but I feel like it gives really, really good um, definition and some moisture so I I'll stick it out for the smell <laughs> and I pretty much just apply all of my products to my hair and then I will come back and apply the wax um, after I apply these products all over my hair so I'm just gonna repeat this these steps all over my hair first and then I will be back when it's time to apply the wax paint wax which I will have the link for this down in the description box and I literally just took you know I just thought what I took would be enough and just applied it to the section first and then I go in and shingle my section and I pretty much use the wax to shingle my hair and I just smooth it through between my index finger and my thumb and kind of twirl it a little bit just to give it a little bit more definition but mostly I just smooth it in between my index finger and my thumb until I got to the front then I actually twirled my hair a little bit more and yeah I just repeat these steps all over my head until I am completely finished pretty much my hair after I applied all of the wax to my entire head. I did sit under my hooded dryer for about an hour. I did find that it took my hair a little bit longer to dry because usually an hour is good enough. Um, but I had somewhere to go um, and I also did stretch my hair um, as well. And if you guys want to see how I stretch my hair, check out some of my previous videos of how I stretch my hair using my blow dryer. Um, so I did that and now I'm going to go through and pick my hair and just kind of fluff it and shape it um, to how I like it and that is pretty much the look. I do go into some details at the end of the video so definitely stay tuned for that. So just keep on watching and I will give you my thoughts and opinions on this product in like a few seconds.
that is it for the completed look i actually love the results um on the camera i feel like it's not picking up how bright it is on camera but it is pretty bright um i do love how it turned out i definitely thought it was going to be a lot more dull but it came out really really nice um i i do find like as i'm separating my hair a little bit that it is like my fingers are a little tinted not too much i showed you guys in the clip not too much though i feel like as it's um drying down a little bit more it'll get better and but that's it for the results guys it's super pretty i love how my hair turned out with this combo um i feel like um i wouldn't I personally wouldn't use a gel with the wax because I feel like my hair would be really weighed down. Um, I like the combo that I did. I used um, a liquid leave-in, an oil, and then a curling cream, and then I applied the wax. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys in the video, but the products that I use are from the Cream of Nature Moisture Miracle line. You guys know I have been using that a lot recently since I got my that bonus like curl box that was like 15 bucks. But I did go up and pick up two of the, two items that weren't in the box. Um, so for this wash and go, I use the leave-in conditioner, the coconut milk and honey um, leave-in conditioner. It's like kind of like a liquidy conditioner i actually really really like this one um and then i went in with the curling or the, the oil obviously the oil and you guys saw this in the wash and go video that i used using um some other products so i used that and then after that i applied the curling cream to style my hair and then i actually when i did the wax i did the shingling method when i applied the wax so really for this i just applied these raked it through brushed it through with my tweezerman brush and then i shingled my hair using the actual color wax um, and I like the results. I like how it came out. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to go about applying my products. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, I started off with the middle part, but then I felt like this outfit kind of was side part um, thing. And I just go through and pick it out. I'm definitely going to carry a pick with me. Um, but I really, really love how the results came out. Sorry. Had to do a little picking. The back is usually my trouble area since my undercut has not quite caught up with the rest of my hair yet. Um, but this is the look. I love it, guys. I really, really love it. I will definitely do it again. I'm definitely going to pick up some more colors um, when I get a little bit more coin again and pick up a couple more colors. Maybe like the pink. Definitely the pink. Definitely the purple. Uh, not the purple. The, the blue. The red. The red I will probably try out at some point like more in the fall. But like for the summer, I definitely want to try out the pink and the blue. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions about the hair wax in general or this video or this wash and go or any questions in general please leave them down in the description box thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel before you guys leave okay i just wanted to come in real quick before i ended the video um this is kind of like towards the tail end of the day i have my robe on i'm about to go wash my face off and i'm probably not going to film again with this hair but i just wanted to give you a little update so my hair is completely dry i know i mentioned earlier that I said when I did touch my hair I showed you guys I had a little pink um pink purple like light like so very faint on my fingers but um now that my hair is a hundred percent dry to the actual touch like my roots and everything um there it, it does not leave any type of residue on my fingers when I touch it um there's none that comes off even if I like press it together none comes off it's not flaking or anything like that um i also laid on my pillow i took a nap for a couple hours then there was nothing on my pillow um so i just wanted to give you guys that now obviously at night i usually sleep with a scarf on so i wasn't really concerned with the actual it staining my pillow thing i guess more so i was more worried about it staining my scarf but during my nap i i didn't even put anything on my head i just literally laid on my hair um and i, I like i said I just, um, the, as far as how my hair feels, it doesn't feel weighed down or like, e like I don't know if you ever feel like we use too much product. I don't feel that way at all. I love how it turned out. I'm hoping you guys are getting how vibrant it is. I feel like it's more vibrant um, on camera than it is on in per like in person than it is on camera nonetheless um i will try and get some shots outside that i can insert in the video but i just wanted to give you guys that update because i just wanted to mention that because i did say that i my hand my fingers were a little bit stained but my hair was still like slightly like 
10%, 15% wet. But once it's completely dry, you will not have anything on your fingers. At least I didn't. So hopefully you have the same experience as well. Um, but other than that, okay, now uh, now we can get the exit of the video. But I just wanted to cut in right here and give you an update. Okay, well, let's go to the outro. Leave. Subscribe. Hit that notification button so you guys do not miss an upload. Also help support the channel by checking out my ebook, which will be linked to down in the description box. It's five tips of how to start a natural hair care regimen. Also, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one hair consultations with me, check out the links in the description box for all of that information. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.